that's to give a toast to the lassies. And um, even more alarming, the lassies then have their right of reply. <laughs> and believe me, they always reply. <laughs> <laughs> Now, one might expect in such a beautiful situation, on such an important occasion, that the one to propose the toast ought perhaps to be our chairman, Mr. Charlie Fox. <laughs> um, but it's a quite a dangerous toast to propose, especially in these day and age, and involves considerable personal risk on the part of the proposal. <laughs> proposal. And um, Charlie would like to be invited back here again, <laughs> so he's asked me to do it. And uh, it's inevitable on a toast like this that comparisons will be made between lads and lassies, men and women. Um, but I'll try to avoid all political, social, behavioral and sexual comparisons. <laughs> and of course that's going to leave me with nothing to talk about. <laughs> but we'll see how we go. Um, obviously, a lot of this has been preamble rather than content, because there isn't much content, and most of the content I'm going to leave to the master himself, Mr. Rabbi Burns, and uh, tell you a poem he wrote. But I will say a few things about the lassies. Lassie, first of all, is kind of a difficult word for the lads to use in this day and age. It has difficult things. Not so much if we're in Scotland, because it's a very Scottish word. But uh, I'm English, and as an Englishman, it's a difficult word to use. So forgive me if I call you all lassies, except the men, of course, you're lads. <laughs> lads. Lads and lassies. And um, <clears throat> we'll keep going. The main thing to talk about, I think, is that we lads envy the lassies. We do. It's all very well saying that after three million years of, of power or whatever, but we lads envy the lassies. What is it we envy about the lassies? Well, it's various things. We envy them the attributes that we do not have and can never have. For example, their patience, their grace and beauty, their ability to do more than one thing at the same time, <laughs> their talent for thinking sideways, their ability to listen, the ease with which they make and keep and foster friendships, their incredibly high threshold for pain, the ability to find the car in a crowded car park, <laughs> and their incredible memories, and the forget the fact that they never ever forget anything. And as a teacher, I, I particularly admire the way the lassies use the language, in our case, English language. Uh, because with a few words, innocuous, innocent sounding as they mean, but they can completely destroy a man and bring him to his knees. For example, what are you thinking about? <laughs> it's a question that fills us with fear. Or, even more apocalyptically, we need to talk. <laughs> and uh, the worst one I know, have you finished? <laughs> and there's nothing, nothing more devastating on this earth than a woman's silence. <laughs> but mainly, and most importantly, I think, the lassies over the centuries and millennia have inspired us lads and taught us to love. And love is everything. First, we, we love our mothers, and then we love our lassies. And hopefully, over time, we learn to tell the difference between the two. Uh, not always. And more, even more incredibly and inexplicably, perhaps, they love us in return. And there's what I'd like to finish. I'd like to finish with the words of the master, because he knew an awful lot more and was a lot more expressive about love and lassies than I can ever be. And um, he was a bit of a rogue, Rabbi Burns. And he was very prolific, not just in his poetry, but in his life. He, had, uh, he fathered at least a dozen children, 12 children, um, six of them with his wife. <clears throat> 
uh, the others with, with other women. And apparently there are over 900 direct living descendants of Robert Burns alive and well in Scotland today. Yeah? And presumably among them, more than a few. <laughs> <laughs> so a prolific man indeed. And forgive me if I don't attempt a Scottish accent with this poem, but uh, knowing the power of Rabbi Burns' poetry, it might, no doubt, creep in. So this is Rabbi Burns on love and lassies. Oh, my love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love is like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. So fair art thou, my bonny lass, so deep in love am I. And I will love thee still, my dear, till all the seas gang dry. Till all the seas gang dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun. I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands of life shall run. And fare thee well, my only love. Fare thee well a while, and I will come again, my love, though it were 10,000 miles. So gentlemen, please, and ladies if you wish, please raise your glass to the lassies. To the lassies. To the lassies.